Hey guys, what's up? So as UK Master Trainer, I have been asked to basically shoot a video to talk about all things movement standards with High Rocks. Now we know that as the sport comes out of its new innovative stage, it's probably going to become more competitive and therefore I think the movement standards are going to be knuckled down on a lot, lot harder. But I have been reached out to um, because there's been a lot of footage posted, there's been a lot of um, content posted with people competing this weekend um, who have you know, succeeded greatly and, and been amazing in terms of performance, but things have been picked up on in terms of movement standards um, and people not necessarily showing 100% quality movement standards. So I'm just going to give everyone a little bit of a recap on the movement standards because I can guarantee probably to, as the season goes on and next season, things are going to be knuckled down on a lot harder and there's nothing worse than maybe potentially getting to the end of the race and then being penalised because it has been noted that the movement standards haven't been up to scratch. Okay, so let's, um, let's talk about the burpees first. So obviously it's really important on the burpee standard to make sure that you are doing your first burpee behind the start line. So when you actually get to that burpee station, it's really important that the hands go behind the line and you drop into your first burpee before you even start moving forward um, in that burpee zone. Okay, that's thing number one. Point number two is to not cover any ground between your burpees. Okay, so what I mean by that is as we're doing our burpee jump, okay, we've come in, we've extended, we can't any little cheeky space is going to amount to a, a bigger kind of um, gain of uh, space in terms of your burpee. So just make sure that you don't take any steps between, okay? Um, point number three is obviously the chest has to come to the ground. So there's a lot of burpees being seen on footage from this weekend where people are literally here, there's no contact with the ground with the chest, okay? They're literally hips in and then into the next rep. And then the final piece of uh, advice I would give with the movement standards is obviously, yes, you can either jump in from the bottom or you can step in, but either way, okay, there must be good distance forearm between your hand and your foot as you step into the bottom of that repetition. And that's so important because what we're seeing a lot of is this and then where people are stepping through and gaining space, okay? So just make sure that if you are going for that movement standard um, and you are obviously looking to compete in high rocks that you get these movements absolutely perfect or as perfect as possible, okay? We'll move on to the walking lunges, okay, which is obviously the next point. So point number one is obviously quite obvious that when we get to there, once that bag is on the shoulders, it cannot come off the shoulders, okay? So it's been pointed out to me and a few officials that some people have actually put their bag down and, and picked it up again, okay? So that's really not allowed um, in the standards of the movement, okay? Point number two on the movement standard of lunges is you must extend all the way up to the top of your lunge. Okay, whether you're stepping here and then going into your next lunge, or whether you are walking straight through, there still needs to be a full extension in the hips. Okay, so we can't, what I mean by that is we can't stay here. It's not, it's not qualifying the lunge. Okay, so just make sure that when you're dropping into them lunges, you're fully extending at the top, hips are open, okay, before you drop into the next lunge. And point number three is the knee must touch the ground. Okay, it is a no rep if we're even a second centimetre off the floor, okay? So just make sure the knee is coming all the way down in that movement standard of the lunges. We're extending all the way. You are allowed to take the step, remember? Okay, so you can come from here and step, but just be sure that you fully extend the hips into that standing position. Otherwise, again, it is a no rep. And then last but not least, obviously you've got the sled work, etc. The ski, the row, the sleds, kind of explain it self-explanatory with that. Um, just making sure that obviously with the sleds, as long as you're getting from one end to the other, it's totally fine. Um, but also really, really importantly as well, is when you are at the end of the actual sled, you've basically got to stay inside that box. Um, there's a lot of footage of people actually stepping outside the box when they're doing their pull, okay? So just make sure, stay inside that box at all times. Lastly, the wall ball station. So three pointers on the wall balls. Um, you will be DQ'd if you guys aren't and penalised if we are not starting with a standing position. So a lot of people are getting to the wall ball station, I get you knackered, but you come in here and then you're straight down. What we have to make sure of is we're standing up first, then we sit into that first rep, every single rep is below hip level parallel, and then we're fully extending. Okay, so the depth of the wall ball is obviously going to be counted every single time. It's going to be watched, you will get no reps if you're not below parallel, okay? 
But I think the biggest thing that they're watching out for on the ball balls in terms of movement standard is if you break your reps at, say, at 30 or 40 or 50 after a cluster set of maybe 10, it's really important that you start with a standing position. Okay, so what we don't want to see, what you're going to, it's not, it's a movement standard that's not allowed, it's from here into a clean. So you're basically picking up at the bottom of the squat. Okay, so here into standing, then we can drop into that next rep. That, my friends, is your movement standards, and uh, I really advise tightening up on those as we get more competitive inside of high rock.